Hi, Trent Siebert here. I'm the editor of Texas Watchdog. You may have seen our report from last week showing how an attorney got a half a million dollars in fees from the largest teachers union here in Houston, Texas. Um, a big deal? Well, here's why. The attorney was the son of the head of the teachers union, raising all kinds of questions about patronage and uh, conflicts of interest. Anyway, it's a great read with great detail. So how did we get the story? Well, I want to show you how. We, we're not digging through people's trash cans, although I'm not opposed to that. Um, this story we got through public records. I want to show you how. It's easy, and by the way, all you need is a computer or get your laptop, and you can do it. Right off the bat, we head to Google. Uh, that's easy enough, and we type in LM2, um, Department of Labor. Uh, why do we type in LM2? Uh, that's the form we're looking for, and I know it sounds like a typical bureaucratic form. I know it reminds you of something, but that's the form we're looking for, and it's chock full of good information. Let's now click where that takes us, the first uh, item here that comes up on the Google search is the U.S. Department of Labor website, and it takes us right to the Office of Labor Management Standards section of the website. And let me show you how to navigate this. Here we are at the uh, Department of Labor website, and let's scroll down. Um, here we are, lots of stuff going on. We're not going to pay attention to a lot. We're going to pay attention to one item, and that's the union search. You're going to see right above that how to search for a union. It's a video put together by the Department of Labor. You can check it out on your own time if you like. Um, no need to. I'm going to show you what we need to know now. Let's click on Union Search. It gives us a search form. Well, now we're on the search page, and let's scroll down. You can see that you can search for any union in the country, uh, search uh, by their name, their affiliation, their type. Uh, I like searching uh, by city and state. It gives you uh, it gives you all the uh, uh, unions for your particular uh, location, uh, and I find it easier to search that way. I put in Houston, Texas, which is where I am in. I scroll down. You see, there's all kinds of other uh, uh, ways to search, and I hit submit, and boom, here we go every union based here in Houston. Uh, you have the aircraft mechanics, uh, for example. Scroll down, you have an elevator uh, union, uh, a carpenters union, federal employee union, food and commercial workers union, um, local government unions, all based here in uh, Houston. You can look at your own, obviously, um, uh, city and state and do the searching. Um, and uh, all their all these links are to their most recent LM2 uh, report. So let's scroll on down uh, and till we hit the union I'm most interested in, the one we did our story on, it's the Teachers AFL-CIO Local Union, and I'm going to click on their 2010 report, and boom! Once you're in the report itself, you can just see how much information is here. And we're going to scroll down um, just to give you a sense. How much cash the union has on hand, how much they spend on overhead, administration, lobbying. You can see all this here. Um, scroll down some more, you can see uh, any loans that were taken out. And in this case, uh, there were a loan was taken out and uh, paid back. Uh, you also see uh, the types of assets they have, cars, buildings, um, what, uh, how the uh, union officials spend their time and, and uh, what they get paid. Um, so it's, it's just got a lot of information, including how many union members, how much are the dues. If you scroll down, um, I encourage you just to spend some time uh, with... Um, uh, with these, uh, with with the document, and uh, you'll see how much uh, information uh, it has. We focused in on a, a couple of places that you may find of interest as well. Uh, first is the, uh, for example, you can see how much the head of the uh, union makes. There uh, she is. You have uh, uh, the name. Uh, 
what the gross salary is and uh, the salary after uh, disbursements for official uh, business um, you know, expenses, those sorts of things. And of course, for our story, we were very uh, interested in the section of the report that shows how the union spends its money, uh, what businesses they give their money to. Uh, there are attorneys um, and uh, other firms, uh, travel, uh, the Sprint telephone line, for example. But we were focused here in on uh, James uh, Fallon, uh, who, as you read our story, you will find that he is the son of the head of the uh, union, uh, Gail uh, Fallon. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy stuff, right? Not tough. We want to show you more of this. Please keep tuned in to Texas Watchdog. We're going to background all of our stories. We're going to show you how we really lift the veil on public records and how we get to the bottom of the stuff that we do. And we want to show you how to do it because we want you doing it in your own hometown, your home county, your home state. Listen, if you're someone that wants to uh, investigate City Hall, really look at government and follow the money, we're the place for you. We'd love to hear from you too. Contact us and we want to show you more. Keep tuning in.